What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always and welcome to another Tekken 5 revisited video. And now with another character who was introduced in Tekken 5, namely Raven. Really cool character, I really liked him. Just like Feng Wei, he was really strong. He wasn't quite god tier as Feng Wei, but a very strong character. Nerfed heavily after this game, criminally underused these days, and now he's called Master Raven after his sex change in Tekken 7. But uh, a really cool character indeed, very strong, but where he really stood out, and he still stands out, Tekken 5 Raven still stands out, with his uh, wall combo wizardry. He could do things that the wall no other character has been able to replicate. Uh, so I'm gonna start by showing, we can actually infinite combo at the wall, but I'm gonna start by showing his normal wall combo. It will demonstrate why he's a beast at the wall. You probably recognize this string, Master Raven uses it in Tekken 7. Uh, it does a shitload of damage here. Wall splat and then this combo 74 in a game where you can take 145, that's more than half life. And this is just the normal wall combo which is extremely consistent. Uh, so it does 43 damage, contrast that to a normal wall combo in Tekken 7 which does 25 to 30 I would say. So this is 13 points more in a game where you can take 25 points less of damage. So again, look at the health bar, it just disappears. This is already insane. But so, did he have other gadgets at, gadgets at the wall? He indeed, he could re-splat the opponent. So he could double wall splat in one combo. No, what? No, wait, wait, sorry. He could infinite splat if he wanted to. I think the first one, this ring, back to two, delay one plus two. I think this one was intentional. I'm gonna demonstrate it. Wall splat. Delay, wall splat. You see that? That is a double wall splat. Super reliable, super easy to do. I think this was intentional by Bandai Namco and I don't know why because it's crazy overpowered. In a game where wall combos already does a million points of damage, why would you allow someone to double splat the opponent? It just does not make sense. Okay, bam. Uh, so yeah, you, if you got, it's like with Steve in Tekken 5, if you were sidestepped, he would kill you. With Raven, if he wall splats you, he would kill you. So again, super reliable, super reliable. Um, and you could toy around, you know, find different combos to end that, but uh, just crazy. And we had another string that could re-splat. 4-3-3. Three, three. The last kick there, if it hits someone who's splatted on the wall, it will re-splat them, just like this string. Uh, I'm gonna try and demonstrate what this looks like. There we go. Uh, okay, I didn't quite get the last hit. Uh, so bear with me a little bit here. I have not practiced very much. Uh, okay, oh, I went for a double. Uh, wait, I, I just want to show the normal combo. This is the, just a normal combo. 104 damage, very reliable, not hard to do, uh, completely crazy, completely crazy. Uh, why could he do this? No one knows. So we can actually link these two together. Yeah, it's not hard. And yeah, just fucking insane. Uh, and we could actually, uh, so as you can see, and as I said, you know, a wizard at the wall. No other Tekken character in history has been able to do something like this uh, and kind of staple it. But now I'm gonna try and show you guys the infinite. It's a little bit situational, you need the correct angle, and it's a bit technical to do, but hopefully I can demonstrate it. But again, yeah, bear with me. When I record YouTube videos, nothing ever works. Okay, we got it. Uh, 230 damage. Uh, that's enough to kill you. Um, so as you saw, I did it first attempt. It re it's really not hard to do. Um, yeah, uh, that was fully guaranteed. There's nothing you can do. You can't tech crawl, can't do shit. You just have to take it. Um, Raven was a wizard in Tekken 5. And obviously this did not carry over to the expansion called Dark Resurrection and he received uh, a lot of nerfs. Uh, 
I I'm gonna demonstrate very quickly this. Uh, I love this move, doing it on my brother back in Tekken 5 days. Uh, here, he didn't do it from full crouch, he did it from his uh, sway forward. Rup. You just do a quarter circle forward and then 3 plus 4 when you wanted the move to come out. You could do it super quickly this way. And now it was also nice that it didn't stagger <laughs> on block. <laughs> uh, he, he had a lot of funny stuff. He guaranteed back 3 into Okisama. Um, what did we do after this? Did we do... Uh, uh, I don't remember. Or maybe it was this immediately. But uh, anyway, so I hope you understand now why Tekken 5 had a monster wall buster raven. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Cheers.